it's Pete here, and I'm back for the weekly free instant tournament. Back at home now, uh, over, done with my travelling, done with the Bermuda Bowl, uh, at least for this year. Um, but uh, we'll jump straight in. It's an eight-board BBO tournament that you can play by going onto BBO and clicking Solitaire Bridge. Anyway, we'll jump straight in and see what we can do. Uh, 10, 17, 19 points balanced hand. So I've got a five-card suit. I'm just going to upgrade this to two new trumps. And see how we go. So one thing that I want to see is how does this play compared to four spades? Because uh, other people will be in four spades when they open one spade. They catch a raise and they'll bid four spades. So I want to make sure I make as many tricks, if not more, um, in uh, no trumps. So. If I was in four spades, I have a potential two heart losers, I have a potential diamond loser, and I have a potential spade loser. Now, you could try leading a diamond towards the queen, seeing if the king was with east, and then potentially throwing a heart away. Um, we can also consider double finessing hearts. We can also try finessing spades. Entries to the north hand are kind of limited. We've only got um, uh, two real entries, but now that they've led a club, I can create a third entry. So here I'll put in the 10, and if the jack appears, I win, but then I can overtake my uh, club honours later, so I could have got extra ones. But here we are, in, and we get to use that entry straight away. Okay, so the next thing is, do I want to lead a low spade to the queen, or do I want to lead the nine of spades? So, this is an interesting choice here. If I think east actually has the king of spades, and I want to repeat the finesse, I want to lead the nine of spades so I stay in the north hand. Uh, whereas, if I think west has it, and the finesse is losing, I want to lead a low spade to the queen, and it will lose, and create an entry back to the north hand with the nine of spades. Um, alternatively, I could try leading a low heart towards the jack now. Uh, that will lose, most likely, um, to the west hand, who then has to do something. They might try switching to a spade, which is fine. They might try switching to a club. Um, let's try taking the heart finesse. I should have led a low heart to the jack rather than the nine. Okay, so we've seen the king of hearts appear, and now we're back in my hand. Okay, and I want to cross over to the club. And just lead the nine of spades at this stage, I reckon. Um, that way that I can maintain in the north hand and repeat the finesse. Okay, that lost, and we get a spade back. Okay, and now I've just got this diamond loser at the end, but making 10 tricks, and people in four spades would lose a spade and a heart and a diamond at least, so three no trumps should be better, because I've managed to score as many tricks as the other side, unless they get something like a diamond lead around to their queen, uh, which uh, won't really do much. They're pitching lots of diamonds here. One hundred percent. That seems pretty generous for just being in. Uh... Wow. It... People are in four spades, making or going down. So, four spades is cold. Uh, so... Is everyone just opening this a spade rather than upgrading it for the five card suit? Um, but club lead, and they run the nine of spades, and they get another spade lead. And they draw trumps. And now at this stage, Queen of Diamonds is a strange play. And they let a heart, and they're actually down at this stage if the opponent doesn't just return a heart back. Uh, but they did. Um, so if you were in four spades, the entries, are, you get a club lead. So first of all, on a club lead, sticking in the 10 has to be right, because you want the entries, and you can generate extra entries by sticking in the 10. 
If West has the jack, you win there. If East covers it, you win, but then can overtake your clubs and get back there. Um, then you also have to choose low spade or run the nine of spades. Um, I delayed that choice by taking the heart first later, but I can see why people in four spades are more nervous about that. Um, so here, club lead, they lead the nine of spades. And draw trumps. They should be comfortably making it this stage. That is a very bad play. Alright, I'll stop looking at that. But yeah, low club, taking the spade finesse, uh, crossing back, and double finesse in hearts is the way to, that I think it should be played. But three no trumps, nice, 100% perfect start. And we'll see how we go. Yeah, another two no trump opening. This one will be more common though. So we're in three no trump. Okay, and we get a diamond lead, and I've got three hearts, I can get three diamond tricks, I've got a spade as well as seven. I want to work on clubs. It would be nice to lead clubs towards my king-queen, but I don't really have the entries to do that. Um, so, looks like I just want to try and lead clubs out of my hand, so... If I play a heart over towards the king and then a club towards my hand, I might never get back for that diamond. So let's just lead clubs out of my hand. And just leading one of the top clubs. Another diamond to me. And another top club. Does the jack fall? No, but I can build another club trick. So there was king, queen, ace, jack, third, sorry, uh, with east. And they pitched a diamond. So the only suit that I'm really interested in about is hearts. Um, because I might be able to score my fourth round of hearts if the jack ten of hearts falls in three rounds. Uh, so let's win that. And I think it's best to actually... So I can kind of squeeze people a little bit. So there's one heart discard. There's another heart. Um, play a spade to my hand. Uh, so East had three hearts. If they don't show out... Okay, so West has four hearts and they get the uh, final one. So three no, making ten. 64%. Uh, that's pretty generous. Someone squeezed in the extra trick. Some people went down. Obviously didn't play on clubs. So... Okay, the person who got extra opened one club for whatever reason and got a low heart lead. Board number three. So another one, no trump opening, but this time just one. Uh, two clubs, two diamonds. When it goes two hearts, pass, pass to me. I'll reopen with a takeout double. Yep. Just checking it wasn't a penalty double. And... Yeah, so I think competing is really important, even after you open a no trump. And we're defending three hearts. Whoa! That is an interesting dummy. So West has ace, king, queen to six hearts. And they're going to just set up diamonds early. I need West to have a void diamond, kind of. Okay. So now that wins, if I do anything like I'll and cash my spades, they're just going to make comfortably. Um, yeah, so just ace of spades. See if my partner's got the king of spades. Yep, they do. And this gets roughed. They then draw trumps. Uh, they must have drawn all the trumps or else they wouldn't, wouldn't have risked that line of play. And making 10 tricks. I think East could have done more than uh, just pass two hearts. They've got a void and a source of tricks. 
Uh, some people got to four clubs, so they opened one club. All the people that got a good score on this opened one club, which I don't like. Uh, and some people let them make 12 by not switching to spades. They're trying to tap the hand, but you know West has a single suitor with at least five hearts. So, like, if they only had a five-card heart suit, then they don't have a stiff diamond because they've got a single suited hand. So, doing this line of play is just silly. Uh, just take you 50%. In rank two with 71%. Okay. Uh, board number four, three passes to me, 10, 14 highs, six four shape. So I'll start with one diamond, two spades, negative double, three spades. Uh, what's double here? Yeah, we'll try double. Don't really want to play in four hearts. Kind of wanted to play in four clubs. Uh, but I guess I'm here now. Yeah, so I think my partner should have just passed the double. This is not going to be good um, at all. All right, so let's go into damage recovery mode. Uh, I guess they were making three spades. Uh, we get a spade trick, a diamond trick, and not much else. Maybe they make four spades. Uh, my partner's got six points, so the robots were really conservative here. I guess I had to pass out <laughs> this hand. I don't really like it. Like, even though I don't have majors, I've got a seriously good hand. Um... So I could go Ace of Spades, Rough of Spades. Then there's not much else. I could try drawing trumps. Um, that stops them cross roughing. Like Ace of Spades, Rough of Spades, play one round of trumps. Let's start by drawing trumps. Uh, so. Okay, ace of spades, and is it better to draw the second round of trumps now, or to take that rough? Um, they score all their trumps separately if I don't draw it, so let, let's go with this. Top club. And a spade. Alright, so rough in and east pitches. West came in with two spades, so they didn't open a week two in spades. Now, east also led what appeared to be a singleton. Alright, uh, so do I think that West has six spades? I've got King Jack 10 to six spades, and they have a heart card. So maybe they didn't uh, bid here because they've got four, uh, four hearts. But that would give East Ace, Doubleton, Heart. Um, hmm. So, like, what I'm trying to do is work out why didn't West preempt two spades in the first place? And also, why did East lead a diamond? I don't think hearts are 3-3. Three, three. So, I reckon the most likely case is West actually had four hearts. I really don't know why East led a diamond, though. Okay, play a club up to my king. Ah, oh, no, I had to hook. That was silly. I knew the finesse was working. I had complete count. I had, like, West had four hearts, they've got six spades. They had two diamonds, so they had a singleton club. 
So I should have finessed there. I could have seen that coming. That was just sloppy right there at the end. Okay, 10%. Uh, should have been down 3. That would have got me 28%. But yeah, here we can work out why West didn't actually bid. If I just passed three spades, uh, that would have been good. Uh, other people just bid four diamonds rather than double. It seems weird. You kind of want your partner to pass three spades or to bid four clubs. Like, bidding four hearts, I wasn't really expecting. Um, I guess with a five-card heart suit, they can. Uh, yeah, uh, like, four diamonds seems a bit much. Partner doesn't need, like, usually I'd have this double have more than just a heart suit. But I understand why partner doubled here. But could have squeezed it into 28%. Like, you, we've got all the knowledge. So here, diamond lead and a win. So what do I have to do? I have to... Well, drawing trumps gets me down four, but ace of spades, rough of spade actually gets me down three. But I went for the hard approach. And now they came out uh, the king of spades. Oh, wow, I could have got out for down two. They have to lead a low heart back or lead their singleton club. So spade and a win. So if I rough a spade now, what can I do? Uh, if I, because hearts are like this, if I rough a spade now and go ace, king of diamonds, diamonds weren't actually breaking badly at this stage. Um, so if I go rough and then ace, king, you can rough over rough, and then I can play another one. Well, I could have got out for 60% on this board. Made a meal of that. But still, cute hand, uh, running at 56%. Uh, 10, 15 highs, balanced hand. My partner's a past hand. Don't have the spades, but I'm still going to get in here and bid a no trump. Transfer to spades. Uh, so here it has pass as no suitable call. Now usually, like, usually I just accept these transfers anyway. Um... But here, I guess it's kind of better to have my partner playing the hand because East is the one with all the points. We want their strong hand on lead. Um, my partner will bid two spades anyway. And now East is on lead. Um, I don't really need to protect anything in my hand. So have the lead running up to my partner. Okay, Queen of Clubs lead. We also know that hearts are... 5-1, if not 6-0. And it looks like they're going to cross rough this hand, so drawing trumps as soon as possible. It looks like that's a singleton. And I don't want West to hop up with the uh, spade on her, so let's just lead a low one. Okay, so they hop up with a spade on her anyway. Jack of hearts, that's really good news for me, because it means that I don't have to... Like, if it went jack of hearts to the ace and a heart back, I could stick in the ten. Whereas if it went low heart to the ace, queen of hearts, I'd have to cover, and the cross roughing would continue. Anyway, uh, another spade, and they win. And now they start rattling their hearts off. Pitch two diamonds. And they get a rough, so... All right. Uh, I was hoping East was out of trumps now. Uh, okay, so I think there's one more trump left. Maybe? No, uh, no more trumps. Uh, but if... yeah, Down two for another 10%. Ouch. So they can get me down three. Okay, so some people are defending. So if they just overcall two clubs, I, my style is to get in there and bid no trumps. Opposite of past hand, if I had a better club suit, maybe I'd do that. But uh, four spades down two. 
someone over called a spade. Someone got out for down one. So they accepted the transfer. They got the heart lead, which they won. And led a diamond straight away. Okay. And now it goes ace of hearts, queen of hearts, queen of clubs. And they didn't give their partner a club rough. That, that's kind of peculiar there. Anyway, 10%. Uh, uh, I don't feel too bad about that one. I feel like I got punished. Uh, two clubs to me, I think I want actual better clubs. Uh, the one good thing about fitting two clubs is if you wanted a club lead. And that would only happen if West was going to be playing spades, most likely. Or potentially no trumps, which I don't think are likely scenarios. Um, also, you might risk getting doubled and going for a number. And also, like, I'm happy if my partner led diamonds instead. If I had, like, three little diamonds or something, uh, where I thought the lead was more important, then, yeah, I'd probably bid two clubs. But I'm happy with my one no trump. Two spades down two. It happens. Board number six, 10, 14 points, balanced hand. We're favorable, I don't have the spades. Uh, so my choices here are pass or upgrading into one no trump. My queen of diamonds looks like it's really well placed. I like my jack of hearts um, with a higher honor. Uh, so pass is the normal bid, but let's get in there and bid a no trump. I like how uh, the hand fits together. So, stamen. Smolen and three no trump. Now as long as my partner doesn't have a stiff club, this should be alright. So my partner has an 11 count and I've got 14 so that's 25 so 15 missing. East has at least 12 so West can have three points. Um, but the ace of hearts is with East. Okay, so where are we? We've got two diamond tricks. A club is three. I'm going to be taking a losing spade finesse. And it looks like East has two diamond winners. Uh, right, so I, I expect to lose a spade and two diamonds and a heart. So if... Diamonds are 5-2, I'm in trouble, so I need East to have be a balanced hand. So trying to work out what like I don't think East has 15 points because otherwise they're an unbalanced hand. So West has something. So they probably have a king. They could have the king of spades or they could have the king of clubs. Now, I don't want to duck this. They might switch to a club. West could have the king of clubs, and if that's the case, I am legitimately down. Uh, so let's let's just knock out this top heart first. I could have, like, let a spade over. All right, we'll duck that one. See what... Okay, so it looks like West has... A Dalton diamond from there. Oh wow, they switched. They didn't knock out my ace of diamonds. I was thinking West has um, only uh, two diamonds because they led the six and the five. So East has five diamonds, and the fact that they switched means that they probably don't have another uh, outside entry. Which, if they had the king of spades, they should surely think that that was holding up. Okay, so... Uh, Alright, so East has king jack ten of diamonds. They've probably got five of them. They have the ace of hearts and the king of clubs. Okay. 
Um, so I've got four tricks at this stage. I've got Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Clubs, and two more spades. Uh, if spades are 3-3, three, three, then I take 10 tricks. If spades are not 3-3, three, three, I got some work cut out for me. Um, now, if I'd passed, I would go past, my partner would bid a spade, and you probably get to three no trumps anyway. Hmm. As it is, I could, like, if I did take the spade finesse first and then played a heart to my hand and then a spade up and then a heart towards my hand, this hand would have played out a lot easier. So I have misplayed this. But let's, let's not focus on that, but uh, try and recover to actually how we can legitimately make this. Uh, or at least give ourselves the best chances of making. Okay, so if I exit with a heart, West wins and plays a club, I win. And I could lead the Queen of Clubs and duck that to East. I know East has a doubleton heart, so East and five diamonds. So East has five diamonds, two hearts. They've either got three spades and three clubs, or they have uh, yeah, um, or they have four clubs and it, they might only have a doubleton. Let's just lead the Queen of Clubs and duck it to the East hand. All right. So now my confirmation that West has the King of Spades feels a lot better. So we go in with this club. Okay, so East has King of Clubs, King Jack, Ace. So King Jack of Diamonds, King of Clubs, Ace of Ooh, Spade Discard. All right. Uh, What? Oh my god. How does this work? Why would they have pitched a spade? So, if they had jack-10 third club, so they've got four spades. Okay. Uh, Alright, so either East has a singleton uh, king of spades at this stage, or... West had King 10 fourth and pitched. Have I triple squeezed West such that they had to hold on to their heart winner, they had to hold on to their 10 of clubs and four spades? So if West had Jack 10 third club, they were a 4 4 2 3. Uh, if that otherwise, I think. I think that's most likely the case. Otherwise, I don't really know what's going on. So, uh, no. So they had five spades. Twenty-one percent. Ouch! This hurts. So. Yeah, I was cold. Misplayed it. So someone was in 3 no and made. Uh, they over called as well. Uh, they got the diamond lead and just a spade up straight away, uh, which is a much better line of play. A um, couple of people went down one. Other people just got to one no trump. I think that's really undercooking this hand when your partner over calls a spade. Like you could try two no trumps and then you'll probably get to three. Uh, so, the better thing about taking the spade finesse early is that you can play for ace Dalton hard on side by leading hearts up like that. So a bit sloppy there. But down to 42%, three bad ones on the trot. Um, so slightly misplayed that one. Board, this one I was happy with. Board four, uh, should have played it slightly better. So here, just a couple of card play errors. I'm not really upset about how I bid any of these hands. Board number 7, 5, 4 in the majors, 10, 15, 18, so we'll start with the spade. 
So double two diamonds. Do I want to bid two hearts here? Do I want to play the hand if partner can't respond? My hand's pretty good, so let, let's get in there and bid. This would usually be like a 5-5, five five, I would think. Because I could make a takeout double. Um, sure. Uh, but didn't make a takeout double. Okay, so here we have four... Uh, King of Spades, so Dummy has 14 points with a 1-3, one, 1-3, three, one, three, 4 five. West only has 3 hearts, my partner didn't like hearts, so he doesn't have 4, so East has 3 hearts, so hearts are 4 triple 3 around the table. And... What do we want to do about this? So, uh, I my partner could have three spades, which would nullify that previous guess. But, uh, hmm, we've got two diamond tricks and a heart. I need my partner to really have some good clubs here to actually uh, be beating this potentially. Um, so if my partner's got some club cards, we can do something. So I could cash my uh, Ace King of Diamonds, just exit a club, playing my partner for that. But that doesn't really give East much. So East might have the Jack of Spades, the Jack of Diamonds, the King of Hearts. That's five points. Uh, and if my partner's got like Queen and Jack of Clubs now, if I Cash two diamonds and then don't play on hearts. Well, let's cash two diamonds. Uh, like I, I really hate being on lead. Okay, so my partner's got the jack of diamonds. So East has five diamonds, three hearts, and some length in spades. Because I doubt my partner's got four spades. So four spades, three hearts... Five diamonds and a stiff club. So my partner's got five clubs, is my guess. Uh, so East can get rid of one of their hearts, but not really anything more, if that's right. So let's just exit here. Okay, that did not work. So what is going on with the shape of this hand? I guess my partner just didn't raise me on uh, some hand because they've got absolute garbage. So I could have cashed my one heart trick. Oh wow, they had four hearts and four spades. Ah, oh, I should have held on to the spade. Three percent. Wow, my partner had a five count with four card support. So we could have cashed uh, two heart tricks. Competing to three spades seems absolutely crazy. I dislike that a lot. Four spades, I think, is even worse. Like, your partner should be the one doing that. Like, look what your partner's putting down. I've got a double fit with king, ten of hearts, and four cards spade support. I'd be raising on this hand anyway. Um, but your partner's passed, and then you force them to bid. They might even only have a doubleton spade. And then, yeah, like, how can my partner have four spades and four hearts and passing three diamonds? I think that's ridiculous to try and play for that. I think my defense was probably right, like, on the assumption that East is more likely to have the king of hearts, and in which case my partner, like, they can't get away much from that. Also, I don't think my partner should have four card spade support here ever, so East has four spades and five diamonds. Uh, and it looks like they've got three hearts, so uh, playing my partner for club cards seemed definitely right. Absolutely punished, and running at 37%. Pass, pass to me, 10, 14 points, 3, 2, 5, 3. 
Uh, Ace Doubleton, I really dislike coming in and bidding no trumps with, so I'm not upgrading this into a no trump, even though I got 14 with a 5 card suit and a stopper. This hand's more suited to try and playing in something, so I'll make it take out double rather than just bidding my diamonds. Two no trumps, 11 points, so we'll give three no a go. Okay, heart lead, seven of hearts, so that looks like it's from king queen nine seven, in which case I can duck and let my partner's ten score. Uh, now my partner's got ten eleven opposite my fourteen, so fifteen points missing. Right. So my eight of hearts scores and. So the missing cards we've got are Ace, Queen of Spades, and the Ace of Diamonds. Uh, West could have one of the Aces, or they could have the Queen of Spades. Hearts of 5-2. Um, right, so I've got four club tricks, two hearts is six, two diamonds is eight. Uh, I can probably end play East. They've got, although if they've got the Ace of Spades and the Diamonds don't run, uh, then if the Diamonds don't run, then it's more likely that. Uh, what's it more likely? So, if the Diamonds don't run, then East ha like I don't have another stopper. They, they've got three heart tricks and their two aces. So I need diamonds to run and now I've got two choices. I could play a diamond to the nine or I could play a diamond to the queen. Now just looking at the suit the percentage way to play it is diamond to the queen hoping that the ten falls in two rounds or that they're three three. I do know that hearts are five two. Um, so West has three vacant places, so is more likely to hold any given card. I also know that East has like all the points. Um, I could. I could cash two rounds of clubs. That doesn't really give me much information. I could cash three rounds of clubs, but then I'm running into the chance that I've messed up all my entries. So let's just lead a low diamond and see, do I want to put in the nine or do I want to put in the queen? Okay, so... Um, I've got seven diamonds and seven clubs and only six spades. So East is most likely to hold three spades. West didn't bid at all. Um, so, like, West could be a 4 2 3 4 or 4 2 4 3. They could have five spades, but that seems less likely. I'm going to go for it. Well, let's be. Let's take the hero play. Okay. It had been going terribly anyway. Uh, now I just hope diamonds aren't 3-3. Three, three. Uh, in which case I'm getting a terrible score anyway. And ace of spades. So how do I do? He had four diamonds. Fourteen percent. May as well finish it off with a complete flop. Thirty-four percent and massive fail. So if I let a diamond to the queen, I wasn't ever going to finesse east, so I would have gone down one. And no one was in three no trumps going down one. I'm kind of surprised by that. Some people are in three clubs. How do you get to three clubs? It won't let me, it won't show me, but like I can't. So I guess the other option is you bid two diamonds 
And your partner's got this normal two no trump bit over that. Um, but I, it's all played by north, so I guess the robot bids three clubs, and then you have to choose what to do, and you just pass it. Uh, but that's pretty weird. Um, yeah. Anyway, all in all, pretty rubbish. Um, I was cold for ten tricks. I have to guess who's got the ten of diamonds. So, I guess if I did go with my play of cashing two clubs, I found out East is an unbalanced hand. Now what do I do? So if I know East is an unbalanced hand, so I would have had to cash Ace of Clubs and like I want to be in my hand. So I maybe like low club to the ten, low club back to the Ace. That way I've got entries both ways, depending on what I want to do. I can't really utilize them, but I find out East is a singleton. So now I know they've got length in diamonds. I don't know if they've got four spades or four diamonds. But I'll lead a low diamond towards the queen. Then lead... But then... Uh, then... The diamond suit's blocked. So even if I do a discovery playing clubs, I run out of my entry. So that doesn't work. Anyway. Uh, is finesse... Like... Is knowing hearts 5-2 good enough to place uh, the Ten of Diamonds with West? It didn't work this time, but I'm not sure it's a terrible play, but my god, this weekly free fell apart. So um, it all started pretty well. I was happy with all the first, all the first boards. Uh, board 4 here, um, I guess I should have played a club to the jack. I knew that was the case. Double, like, I kind of want my partner to pass. I kind of want my partner to bid four clubs. I could try bidding four clubs, but it's pretty committal. If my partner bids three no trumps, am I happy? So what am I trying to get to with three no trumps? Uh, with double, sorry. I've got maybe six diamond tricks. So if my partner's got, like, the king of spades, the queen of diamonds, and a heart card... Uh, Three no trumps isn't really making. So let's assume that I don't want to get to three no trumps unless my partner's got a double spade stopper. Seems unlikely. So with double, I'm hoping either my partner passes or they bid four clubs or they bid four diamonds. I don't want them bidding four hearts. If that's the case, I could bid four clubs myself, I guess. Gives up on the chance of them passing, but that way I get to some sort of decent pass score. So double could be wrong there. Here, two spades, that seems normal. Um, yeah, like the choice is two clubs or overcalling a no trump. I went through that before, I'm happy with my one no trump, got punished. Board six, misplayed this one, should have taken the spade finesse, heart to my hand, spade finesse. And then I get three spades. I'm still still probably going to go down. I get three spades, two hearts, two diamonds, and a club. So I think I'd still go down on that line of play. Um, because my entries to the north hand to lead up to the hearts twice are gone. But at least it protects against East having a singleton ace of hearts. Board seven. I think my partner is completely crazy here. I don't mind what I did. Board eight. Eight. Um, it's kind of just guess, and I still don't know if it's percentage or not. I'll have to look into it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this weekly free. It turned out terribly for me, but uh, it can happen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.